Hey guys, welcome back to another FAQ video here. I am Dakota Decker again, the CTO at Geo Orbital. And after the last video, we had a couple more technical use case questions that I'm gonna go over today. Now, the first question was on something I mentioned in the last video, the disc brake adapter. Some people weren't sure if that was for this current generation wheel or for a future design. Now in future designs, we do plan to make it a little more integrated to the design itself. But that adapter was meant for this current wheel, the ones that we're building and delivering right now. Now on the subject of adapters, we're also going to be releasing an extension for the throttle. Now, based on the geometry of your bike, sometimes you need to put the throttle a little far from the grip, which makes it difficult to reach the thumb pad there. So the idea of this is it would simply snap over the thumb pad of the throttle and give you about a two-inch extension on here. Much easier to reach, and it also gives you a little more resolution on how much throttle you're giving the wheel. Now, while we're looking at the throttle here, I wanted to quickly go over how to adjust it as well. We've had a couple questions on that. If you look on our website, there's a very involved installation video which goes over exactly how to adjust the throttle and even how to move it to the left side of the handlebars if you're left-handed. But I'll just go over some basics here. Now the clip on the top of the throttle, that can be loosened and the throttle can easily be moved up and down like this. On the bottom of the throttle as well, there's a thumb screw. So you can tighten or loosen this to get a better grip on the handlebar. You want to make sure that if you push down lightly on this, it's not going to swivel. Now the other axis of orientation, this direction, can be achieved using the Z-shaped Allen key. This would be in the accessory bag that came with your wheel where you found the key itself for the bike. Now right under where you press your thumb on the throttle, there's a little set screw there. One end of this tool has a slightly smaller Allen key size. Use that on that set screw, loosen it up, and you can swivel the throttle easily in this orientation. Find whatever's comfortable to you and then just tighten it back there. Now the next question we've gotten a lot of is about the range of the wheel itself. And you notice on our website there's a different range for each of the two size wheels based on the size of the battery. The smaller wheel, the 26 inch, has a range of about 12 miles, while the larger wheel, the 700C you see here, has a range of about 20 miles. And this is with zero pedaling at all, but it is under industry standard idealized conditions. So that's a 170 pound rider, a bike weight of about 30 pounds, going 10 to 12 miles an hour on flat level ground with little to no headwind. Now if you want to increase the range of your wheel, a big part of what you can do is just making yourself more aerodynamic. You'll notice when you watch professional cyclists, they're often hunched over, kind of hugging the bike. If you sit up straight when you're riding, your torso is exposed to the wind. It makes you very unaerodynamic and slows you down a lot. It puts a lot more stress on your legs if you're pedaling or on the motor if you're riding. Uh, the other point is obviously pedaling. So if you're willing to pedal along with the wheel, you can, I mean, honestly, it's a bicycle. You can go forever. But if you want to use this as an assist and pedal and get a little bit of a workout, you can easily get double, triple that range. And the last point I wanted to go over is on these straps here. We've had a couple people mention that if they're using their uh, wheel on rough road conditions, off pavement kind of use, that the battery can sometimes vibrate a little bit. Now, if you want to get rid of this, we made this strap extra long so it can be tucked right here between the battery and the frame. This secures up the connection a little bit, gets rid of any vibrations, and again, it's not meant for off-road use, but if you're using it on a little bit rough roads or off pavement, that should get rid of any vibrations there. Anyways, hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Please keep your questions coming. We're uh, happy to answer them. Always happy to be here for you, and we'll see you next time.